make the stop. Callie Yarko, top shelf, Lego, puts it home. We're all from the same hometown in Yavle. Tell us about something in Yavle. Yeah. What makes it special? The only thing we're famous for is the, the Christmas goal. <laughs> that burns down every year. That burns down, yeah. I'm in Jevle, a city in Sweden, about 100 miles north of Stockholm. And every year, they have a Christmas tradition. Build an enormous goat out of straw and put it in the town square. It's this big goat made of, what do you call it, hay? hay? Which is like, became a thing where people burn it, burn it down every year. It's not allowed to torture it, so you go to prison, but people still do it. In the 50 years that a 10 meter high goat has been put up here, the goat has only survived 12 times. Not only are we from the same place, but you guys are also cousins. What are your first memories of each other? I just remember like a lot of hockey matches on, at your place. S street hockey, street yeah. Street hockey, yeah. A lot of street hockey. What was the toughest thing about adjusting in the NHL in North America coming from Javle? Obviously the, the rings are smaller here. Yeah. Uh, game is a little faster. And then life-wise, you know, new language, new people. Took a little time to adjust from you for sure. I can only agree. <laughs> I can only agree. Well, Callie said you guys would have to fight over who gets to uh, let him stay at your house. Yeah, you can have him. I don't want <laughs> How excited were you guys uh, to hear the news? Obviously, we're uh, really close, so it's, uh, it's exciting times to be able to play with him again. What did... Uh... The team asked uh, you about Cali before uh, we traded for him. They asked me if we were cousins. <laughs> <laughs> they were interested in Johnny because he's a good player and a good person. That was it. I was just happy, you know, coming to play with you guys and coming to play with a with a really good team. So I was just super excited. They asked me if uh, if he was as good of a guy as I am, and I said, close. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so I said, I will take that. Coach judge on three things. Right. Stanley Cups, wins, playoffs. Well, that's, what, that's at the end of the day what, what, what counts. How would you describe Daryl Sutter? Our head coach. Our head coach, yes. He's a winner and you know that's that's what I what I like about him. You know, he's good at motivating for each game, I think. Uh, as soon as one game is over, it's start thinking about the next one. Like Linda said, as soon as the game's over, you know, we haven't got our helmet off. It's it's you know preparing on to the next one and uh, you know, he's, he's really good at keeping us on our toes and not get comfortable and during an 82 game season, I think that's that's really important. Pass to hit, speed it over. There's a great save by Markstrom. Save of the series so far, Jacob Markstrom. There's control in front, they score! Lindholm, that's his spot, puts it home. Describe what it's like after all these years of the three of us to be playing together in the NHL. It's pretty cool. Obviously, I feel like every team you go to now, it's it's a couple of Swedes, but uh, doing it with uh, two of your really good friends, best friends, it's uh, it's kind of surreal. To get Johnny here to make the three of us, it's pretty cool. I was very happy about what happened. I knew I was getting traded somewhere. And, you know, this was my first option for, for sure, and I'm glad it happened. For us to, to play on the same team, coming from the same place and, and good friends, I'm proud to get to play with these guys coming from Javle, and uh, I think the, the city is proud too as well to, to have three guys in the same team. And I don't think that happens very often.